Yep, you heard that right. I'm playing PS2 games like God of War and Need for Speed right on my Android phone. And I didn't even need a BIOS file. No complicated setup. And no, this isn't a fork or a fake. No PC, just install, launch, and you're in the game. So who made this magic possible? The real developer is Poton 2024, the genius who ported PCSX2 to Android and actively maintains the source code on GitHub. And thanks to Trixarian, who compiles Poton's work into ready-to-install APKs, we get easy access to this powerful emulator. Even Trixarian's own release notes confirm. These builds are based on PCSX2 RIN 64 by Poten 2024. Bottom line, this is the smoothest PS2 emulator experience on Android. After years of relying on alternatives like Ether SX2 and Nether SX2, we're finally getting the authentic PCSX2 experience straight on mobile, and it's a game changer for mobile emulation. So while both are involved, credit for the emulator itself goes to Poton 2024. There are currently two versions available, a debug build and a release build. While there's no official change log comparing the two, we tested the release version and it feels like you're using the PC version of PCSX2. The interface is familiar, clean, and functional. You can even toggle between OpenGL, Vulkan, and other rendering backends depending on your device's power. Keep in mind, this is still an early build, so there are a few limitations. First, gamepad support is not available yet. We tested it with several controllers, but the buttons just don't respond at this point. It's touchscreen only for now. Second, CHD file support isn't implemented yet, unlike what you might be used to with Nether SX2 or Ether SX2. You'll need your games in ISO format for them to load properly. Now let's talk performance. We tested several popular titles and the results were impressive. Dragon Ball Z and Resident Evil 4 ran between 20 to 40 FPS, which is incredible for an emulator this new. Even better, Tekken 5 hit a smooth 40 FPS using Vulcan. That's a major achievement for version 2 of any emulator. Right now, it's still early days. But with this kind of power and optimization already showing, we genuinely think this emulator could one day surpass Nether SX2 and Ether SX2. It's not there yet, but it's clearly headed in the right direction. Performance and compatibility are the priorities here, and that's what really matters in an emulator. If you want to try it yourself, the latest APKs are available on Trixarian's official GitHub page. While this is still under development, it already feels like a huge leap forward for PS2 emulation on mobile. This could mark the beginning of a whole new era in Android console emulation. If you're ready to relive your favorite PlayStation 2 classics legally, of course, right on your phone, now's the perfect time to jump in. And hey, if this video helped you out, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and tap that notification bell. We've got more emulator updates, tutorials, and performance tests coming soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.